Good morning, everybody. It is January 24th. It is a whopping 10 degrees out, and I'm on uh, headed north towards the top end of Lake Winnipesaukee. Because you guys are asking for Lake Winnipesaukee stuff, it's like an hour and a half drive to where I'd like to go, or like an hour and 10. Um, I do know some stuff that's closer, but it's not really frozen yet. So I'm trying, trying to get there as well. But we're going for Lakers today. Just like, I'll just talk about like my morning routine. I usually get up at like 4.30 or 5 for these trips, uh, just because it is such a long haul. Get ready, I have to like ninja, quiet, stealth through my house and not wake up my two year old son or my wife or make the dog bark. So it's kind of like a balancing act to get out the door in the morning. And I'm sure you guys can all relate the ones that get up early, either early for work or uh, early to fish on the weekend and not wake anybody up. So I'm up. Sun's uh, sun rises at like 7:05 this morning, so we're starting to see sun come over the mountains. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the snow dog today and not bounce around. I'm gonna go one spot. I'm gonna chum. We're gonna get on some Lakers. Um, I'm gonna have uh, two rods set up today, both in like jigging mode, and we're gonna get on them. But I'm gonna not I'm not gonna bring my big pop up. I might I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do today. It's kind of like all over the place. Uh, but barometric pressure should be good. We have kind of a s snow coming in tonight. So hopefully the bite will be uh, getting better throughout the day. Thanks for watching. Let's get some some chum going down there. Oh. Got him. Got him. Oh, he popped off. No. See if I still got my stuff on there. I do. He chased the hell out of that guy's. And he's slowly going back down. I think he'll hit it again. I was just suspending my rig off the bottom just a little bit. I'm in a 46 foot. Send some more chum down. Ever bring your lunch with you to work and then you think about it literally all day so you end up eating it just like really early? I'm about to do that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got him. <laughs> got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Just gonna hammer him home. Oh, he's just under the ice, that is sick. Yes. Yes, first laker of the day, guys. Sun here, first laker of the day. Not too bad, bleeding just a little bit. Going right back down. That's uh, number two that I've hooked. Could have been the same one, but unlikely. Just trying to get my uh, my heater going so I can use a flip over. Get some stuff on thaw from bouncing around already this morning. I mean, if they're in a chasing mood, I'm not going to set up the camera. There's really no no point. I mean, it is cool to get them on camera, but. All right, let's dead stick that right there. There we go. Now I got some real estate to actually set the hook. That'll be good. Let's uh, let's get out of the shack, drill another hole, set up another rod with like something big, a rattle trap or something, lure these guys in. Let's just get this down there while it's warm. And I find buffs like one of the most irritating things in the world. But they keep your face warm.
Oh, there's one. Just saw one on camera, guys. That was cool. Oh, crushed it. Crushed it, guys. Absolutely crushed it. That was sick. Barely on camera. Not very big, but crushed it. Oh, it's pretty big. Go pin him in the top of the mouth. Nice looking fish. Not very, let's, get, let's get a general measurement on him. We got a keeper. We got an 18 in a little bit. That's okay. We're gonna send him right back to that. You know, if I bought my big shack, I wouldn't have caught anything. Let's make some uh, some noise. Oh, there's one down there. Oh, there's one down there. Missed him, guys. Missed him. He was in the vicinity, and he, like, sniffed the camera, and that was it. So just drop some more chum down, which almost never hurts. Can't see my jig. I don't know what is the camera like. Is either moving or something's happening here? Oh, this one down there. I think I just spooked him. All right, I muddied up the bottom quite a bit. Let me reel up. The big bait. So one, they don't run into the line because they do that a lot. Run right, right into it, scare themselves. And two, so there's no competition for my jig that I want them to bite, which is the uh, little sassy fluke down there. Sassy shad. Wish I had brought my big shack out, which I could still do, I guess. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning. Don't think they're a huge fan of the camera. But, you guys are. I am. Oh, he hit it. Oh, he missed it. Oh, there's a bunch down there. Or the white perch. Oh! Hit it again and I missed it. There's gotta be a white perch. There's this whole school of them down there. Got it, whatever it is. I think those are white perch, guys. I think those are white perch. They have to be. Oh yeah, toad white perch. Toad white perch. Oh, come on. I can see you down there. We got a whole mess of white perch on the bottom here, guys. There he is. Oh, he's off. He's off. Hope that didn't spook him. Alright, I'm see you guys this white perch. I'm not keeping him, but... Look at the size of that freaking white perch, guys. Thing is massive. Absolutely massive. Let's get a measurement on him. 13. 13 and a half, almost 14 inches. Hopefully they stay down there. Oh, we got one coming up. This is my heavy laker rod. This is not what this is made for, but it's okay. Got him. Not as big as the other one, but still a nice fish. Open your mouth. Small one. Missed the hole. And I think they're gone. I'm gonna jig here for a minute because there's white perch here, this means there's enough bait here for something else, like Lakers. 
Well, let's see if we can find that school again, because that was actually fun for a minute. Wasn't paying attention, guys, and the fish came in hot. Oh, oh, oh. oh, he wants it. He wants it. So I've had two fish come in here and want to eat this. Kind of. There he is. Come on. Oh, there's more than one. There's a chance. Oh, there he is. There's two of them. Crushed it. Crushed it right near the surface, guys. And it's a bigger one. In the sunlight here. Nice fat one. Don't know how long, but he's nice and fat, healthy, for sure. For sure. Let's get the release. See if we can get another one. That one was fired up, guys. Up here he comes. There's another one, guys. Right there. Okay, she wants the full drag. Same size, guys, same size. But another nice laker, guys. Another nice one going down, pretty fat. Don't know how long he is. Oh, nailed it, there we go. Thank you guys for watching the video today. A few Lakers, a couple of white perch. If I had someone with me, we would have stayed on that, that white perch bite, like kept them fired up. Uh, but I fish alone a lot of the time. So if you guys want to continue to support the channel, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to get notifications. And if you want to purchase a beanie that supports my channel a bunch or a hoodie or the plastic baits I was using today, the little kind of fluke minnow. I was using a gulp minnow today too. They were being finicky on smaller baits. Um, but I'm in a new spot today. Discovered some new spots that are locked up and uh, fishing's been pretty good. Thanks for watching.